than 2,000 people are expected to gather this Saturday for a multicultural celebration. It is something that happens once a year. And joining us now in studio to talk more about it is Vietnamese youth minister who oversees multicultural programs for the diocese, V. Salazar, and Father Emmanuel Ochigbo from Sacred Heart Parish in Ocean Beach. Welcome to both of you. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having us. So talk yes. to us about this gathering. Uh, it is a Catholic mass, correct? Correct. But it's focused on inclusion. Sure. Talk to us a little bit about that. So it is the annual celebration of uh, Pentecost. It's uh, the Pentecost mass of all nations. Uh, historically, uh, it is the end of the Easter season. It marks the end of the Easter season. And at the same time, it is a fruit of the mysteries, the Paschal mysteries of the suffering, the death, the resurrection, and the ascension of Jesus. It is the feast of the coming of the Holy Spirit on the followers of Jesus, an event that came to undo an event that happened in the book of Genesis chapter 11, where human language was confused, and people could no longer understand one another, so they couldn't come together. But at Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit came on the followers of Jesus, the language became one again, the language of love. Where the followers of Jesus spoke, and people could understand them. They said, are these not Galileans speaking? Why do we all understand them? So in the Diocese of San Diego, every event, we relieve this experience. We are people from all nations. We have in San Diego up to 30 nations coming together to celebrate. Uh, so this is going to highlight different cultures, right? Uh, okay. Is this Correct. just Catholicism we're talking about? Or are we going to try to bring together different religions? What's the goal of, of this to get together? So this event, uh, we welcome everyone. Uh, and we will have um, the praise and worship start at 10 with a choir from different, uh, sing by different languages, different mm -hmm. choir. And then at 11, Mass was celebrated by Cardinal McElroy. And in the beginning of Mass, we will have a procession of 30 um, nations going down, walking in, and everyone will dress in their traditional outfits. Um, and then after Mass, we will have uh, the festival with food from uh, international food and entertainment. So everybody from every yes. culture, every religion, every yes. background uh, is able to attend this. Like Andrew's Jewish, I'm Catholic, so he could come with me. Sure, yes. all are welcome. Thank you. And that was what happened at Pentecost. <laughs> well, that, I mean, that's really, and, and it comes at a time where we see mm -hmm. a lot of division in our country. I think that's fair to say. We see a lot going on on college campuses right now yes. that has to do with things halfway around the world as well. Talk to us about the importance of unity, of bringing together different religions, people who aren't religious maybe, or just you know people from different cultures to, to celebrate, to, to talk to one another, and to be together. So one thing that stands out for me, because this is not the first of this event mm -hmm. here in San Diego. We've been having it a few years now. And every year, one thing that stands out for me is the fact that people come from different cultures. And at a time where, ordinarily, people tend to look down on others. But at this celebration, what you see is that people are impressed by what they see of other cultures. People try to people highlight what they see in the, the good they see in other cultures. Mm -hmm. You don't see anybody talking down on anybody. People are presently surpri pleasantly surprised at the commonality they find with other cultures, and then also they appreciate the other things they see in other cultures which they do not, which they do not have. So for me. If life is like what we experience at this event, mm -hmm. I think the world would be a better place. I mean, understanding mm -hmm. is the big part of mm -hmm. eliminating hate mm -hmm. and those types of things. Well, thank That's you very correct. much. Mm -hmm. Give us uh, the details again, mm -hmm. just before we go here. Mm -hmm. It's taking place when? It will be this Saturday um, at Catholic High School. It starts at 10 a.m. with call and worship, and then at 11 a.m. we'll have mass. Uh, right after mass will be the festival. Uh, at the school um, campus. Yeah. Okay. And Father, I really you know, appreciate what you just said because I think that's what makes America what it is, it right? Is. And we are all from a lot of different places around the world. Before we let you go real quick, tell us what you brought here. Okay, uh, this is an instrument from my own culture, Africa, Nigeria specifically. And uh, here we have what in my language we call the Ichaka. It is a musical instrument, uh, percussion. 
and then the sound comes from the beats having contact with the board. And then here we have the horse tail, which we call in my language in Idoma, Otrufi Onya. Mm -hmm. And then it is uh, a symbol of authority used by the king, the African king or the chief, and uh, it is used in blessing their subjects. They bless their subjects by just touching it lightly on the back of their subjects. Beautiful, and you, you are dressed in Vietnamese garb as well. Yes, this is uh, called Ao Yai. So uh, on this Saturday, you will see a lot of us wearing this beautiful outfit. And other countries also show off their cultural outfit as well. So I think that is the part that I'm excited the most to see uh, other traditional dress. All right, well, it's mm -hmm. happening this Saturday. Thank you both, Father Ochigbo and V. Thank, thank you so much for being here. Uh, we do have more information on our website, fox5sandiego.com, if you'd like to learn more. Uh, just head there, but it is happening at 11 a.m. on Saturday at Cathedral Catholic High School. Thank you both. Thank you, guys. Thank You're you welcome. for having us.